Today we're going to be talking about how to sketch a parametric curve by plotting points along the curve. And in this particular problem, we've been given the parametric curve defined by these two equations, x equals square root of t and y equals 1 minus t. So when we're going to sketch a parametric curve by plotting points along the curve, the first thing we want to do is identify points that we can plot. Well, the way that we're going to do that is find an xy coordinate point for different values of t. So we want to make a chart where we have, let's say, t in the top row, and you could do rows or columns. But let's say we've got t in the top row, and then for different values that we pick for t, we're going to find different values for x and y. So if we have a chart like this maybe, and we want to pick values for t, and then we'll find corresponding values for x and y. Each pair of x and y values here will become a coordinate point on an xy coordinate plane. So what values are we going to pick for t? Well, you could think of doing just, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But notice here that we have x equals the square root of t. It therefore might be convenient for us to pick values of t that are easy to plug into this equation for x. In other words, values of t for which we can take the square root. So for example, let's say that we take t to be 0, and then we'll take t to be 1, and then instead of taking t to be 2, we'll take t to be 4, and then 9, etc., so that we're picking values that we can easily take the square root of, so that when we plug them into this equation for x, we'll be able to find simple whole number values for x. So we'll go ahead and say 0, 1, 4, 9, and 16. Let's see how far that gets us. So now we have our values for t. We're going to plug them into both of our equations for x and y here. When we plug into the equation for x, we'll plug in here this first point, 0 for t. The square root of 0 is just 0, so we'll get that there. When we plug 1 in for t into this equation for x, we'll get the square root of 1, so that's just 1. When we plug in 4, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 16 is 4. So you can see how those were easy to find. So you want to look at your parametric equations and try to pick values for t that are going to be easy for you to evaluate in these equations. Now let's go ahead and plug those same values, 0, 1, 4, 9, and 16, into our equation for y. So 1 minus 0 just gives us 1. 1 minus 1 gives us 0, 1 minus 4 gives us negative 3, 1 minus 9 gives us negative 8, and 1 minus 16 gives us negative 15. Okay, so now each of these pairs, these value pairs for x and y, become a coordinate point that we can plot on our xy coordinate plane. So let's go ahead and draw here our xy coordinate plane. We'll draw it like this. And we'll say here that this is 1 along the y-axis, this is 1 along the x-axis here. Okay, so now we're just going to plot these coordinate points. So our first point here is the point 0, 1. So we're going to go ahead and say 0, 1. That's this point right here along the y-axis. Now we have the point 1, 0. That's this point right here along the x-axis. Then we have the point 2, negative 3. So if we go over to about 2, and then maybe 1, 2, and 3, something like this. And then we have 3, negative 8. So we go out one more, 3, and the point is that that's going to be way down low here. So you can start to see the pattern. Now if we sketch these, if we connect these like, like this, and we draw the curve, this is what our curve is going to look like. That's all it takes to sketch the curve. One thing that we could do and, and probably should do is put in some more detail. We can go ahead and say here that this is the point zero, 1. We can go ahead and, and say that this is the point 1, 0. And we should go ahead and add a couple additional arrows along the graph like this to show the direction. Because remember, with parametric equations, we have um, the, the value of t moving in a specific direction. So because t increases in this direction, right, t increases from 0 to 1, then all the way to 16, it follows this direction here. So we show the direction of t. Now one way you can check yourself really quickly to make sure that you've graphed the curve correctly, you can eliminate the parameter in these equations and find an equation for y in terms of x. 
So for example, if we try to solve this equation here, x equals the square root of t, if we solve that for t, then we can plug that into the equation for y and see what we get. So to solve this for t, we'll go ahead and square both sides, and we'll get x squared equals t, right? Now we have a value for t that we can plug into this equation for y. So this equation for y then becomes y equals 1 minus x squared when we plug this x squared value that we found for t into this variable here, t. So we get y equals 1 minus x squared, and that should reassure us because this is the equation that we should recognize as the parabola that opens down with a y-intercept of 0, 1. And that's exactly what we've sketched here, is that, that half of the parabola. So that reassures us that we drew the graph correctly, and that's how you sketch the graph of a parametric curve.